Well, but just bring it to me. Bring bring it to me, and I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, I think it does. Well, they've they've done so good with it. I mean, I think it's going to be. I think it's even going to be better. So, um, well, let me let me talk to them. We'll see. We'll see. Well, uh, good morning, everyone. This is Michael Chitwood, and I'm coming to you live this morning from our headquarters. I I pray that you're having a great great day, uh, a really great day. Um, Christmas Eve. I love Christmas. I don't know if anybody likes Christmas like I do, but I like Christmas very, very, very much. And, um, this is an opportunity for us to, uh, show a lot of love and, um, be with friends and family. It's going to be great. So this is Merry Christmas Eve. So, uh, we're right here on the, on the very verge of Christmas day and I'm excited about it for you and for your family. I did want to take just a minute and wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. I believe that 2020 is going to be the year of the millionaire. And I received that confirmation from God that if you do what we've asked you to do and do the instructions of your mentor, I promise you, I promise you, if you'll follow our instructions, that you can become a millionaire in 2020. Now we're moving into a brand new decade. 2020 begins, 1120 begins a new decade. I don't know about you, but what I've heard is that this is going to be a decade of increase and continuous perpetual wealth harvest. Um, and I, I want to encourage you. Thank you very much for that. Uh, is that Jenny Lee? I believe it is. That's Jenny. No, that's, uh, I can't catch the name. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to welcome you. I've been on the phone to John. Just got off the phone to John. He's doing a lot, lot better. So we thank God for that. Um, I, I want to uh, mention something to you uh, that I wanted to bring to your attention. It's just for a few because I know that this is probably the day you're shopping, the day you're out. So I knew there'd be some of you there, and I felt like that this would be an opportunity for you to receive this information. Uh, I wanted to remind you and give you an invitation at the same time that uh, I'm here at the office, by the way. By the way, when you're here at the office on Christmas Eve working, it makes it really nice because it's quiet. Uh, it's quiet. The phones aren't ringing. You can get a lot of work done. I have two, I have two millionaire dream sessions today, one with Sherry Wilson. Uh, at the uh, facility and um, one with Debbie Manning. Um, so um, we have two today at the center. So we're excited about that. And I think that that's going to be a great opportunity. Uh, if you want to invite somebody, you can, you're welcome to do that. If you, if you feel, feel led to do that, but I want to talk to you briefly about uh, the fact that you have to be in the presence of somebody and be under the mentorship of somebody that can help you accomplish your dream. You're not going to be able to accomplish your dreams by yourself. I don't care what anybody's told you. Believe me, you're going to have to have some help, some instruction, some mentorship, some teaching. Uh, you're going to have to have some information to help you get there. Thank you, RC, for inviting people, our corporation. And, and it's because champions really don't become champions at the event. Uh, you don't become a champion when you're playing the game. Uh, you have to prepare. You have to understand and have books. That's the reason I've constantly asked you, read all of my books that you can. Learn all about me that you can. You can't be a mentor. There's there's somebody. Is that handy? That's Roma. Roma, good morning, uh, precious lady to me. You can't get rich all by yourself. You're going to have to have someone to help you get to the millionaire status. Now, at this last spiritual financial conference that we had, the board voted that they wanted me, I didn't really want to do it, but the board voted that they wanted me to do a millionaire conference in Fort Lauderdale that was more of the practical side and less of the spiritual side. And so I asked them why, and they said, well, we have great spiritual teachers and great spiritual mentors but we don't have a lot of practical mentors. And so what we need is a class a conference. We call it expo because, you know, the word retreat, I don't go to retreats. Retreat means to give up, means to uh, back up. It means to almost to surrender, to go into seclusion. So we, we don't have women's retreat with ICCM. 
we have women's conferences, but not a women's retreat. I don't like the word retreat. But we're not going to be retreating in Fort Lauderdale on uh, 2020. We're going to be moving forward. Hi, Donna. We're going to be moving forward with uh, giving you every subject that you need. Every subject that you need will be handled at this Millionaire Expo. It's called the Elite. Can I get somebody to put this up, by the way? Uh, Elite Millionaire Expo. Can I get somebody to type that up for me in the comment section? I would appreciate that. Uh, this is the Elite the elite um, Millionaire. That's it right there. Tanya Watson, good morning to you. Beautiful. Elite Millionaire Expo. And, um, you know, this is going to be an opportunity for us to teach you all of the practical things that others don't teach you, can't teach you. Uh, a gospel singer that sings on a stage can inspire you uh, uh, with inspirational words of great, great words and great songs and great. We have a lot of great groups, but they can't teach you anything about finances because most of them are broke. I don't know if you know that or not, but most of you are listening to people that are broke and that don't have the money that they need in order to teach you what to do. Now, one thing that's important about this, and I'd like you to type this on the screen, type on the screen consistency. Somebody type that on the screen because we're going to be at the millionaire. Thank you, Ethel, very much. The millionaire elite, the millionaire it's actually called the the Elite Millionaire Expo is going to be held the last week of April or the first week of May 2020. Now, we're only going to take 40 incredible winners at this conference, at this expo. So if you want to be one of them, then you need to get registered now. I can tell you that the seats are going fast. We're going to have a time. By the way, I'm not going to be staying at my estate or my residence. I'm going to be staying right there on property with you at the Ritz Carlton so that I can have as much time with you. I want to put as much into you as I can. We'll see each other. We'll have some coffee. We'll have some uh, lunch. We're going to sit out there and look at the nice ocean because that's where your creativity will rise. I'm praying that your creativity will increase more at this conference. And uh, this is going to be an expo that's going to allow you to move into the winner circle. Can I get somebody to type up hashtag winner circle? Uh, I want you to move into the winner circle. And I'd like to give you two things that will keep you from moving into the winner circle. Actually, I'll give you four. Number one, the number one thing that will keep you from moving into the winner circle is something called ignorance. You've heard me say that ignorance is no excuse. It's not what you know that will hurt you. Thank you very much. Look at all these incredible people that are putting up the winner's circle. Thank you very much. It's not what you know that will hurt you. It's what you don't know. That's called a lack of knowledge, a lack of information. Uh, it's not what you know that will hurt you. And that's exactly what I'm praying for right there. Uh, has anybody seen Debbie Booth on here? I don't, I don't think she's on here today, but, but she has some information about that because uh, this coming week, not this week, but the next week, I want to have a very special social media training for you because I want to show you how that you can expand your life by social media. And uh, uh, we'll probably be doing that from Zoom. Um, I, think it, I think that will work. I think that'll work the best. So number one is ignorance. Number two is laziness. If you're lazy and you just can't pick up the phone and call and you just don't want to come to the conference, then ladies and gentlemen, you're never going to be able to change your life financially. See, I'm about changing your life financially because I'm going to tell you, besides being born again and accepting the Lord as your personal Savior, which is the most important thing, by the way, but other than that, the second most important thing in your life is to have the money, the wealth to do what you want to do. Uh, it would be really, really nice. I'm trying to see these names, but they're so small. It'd be really, really nice if uh, we could build a home for homeless veterans 
and we could do it within our people and say, look, every one of you wants you to give a thousand dollars. This is a hypothetical. Well, it's really not a hypothetical, but it is a hypothetical, if you know what I mean. And that is I want everybody on Periscope to give a thousand dollars. Well, you would do that. You want to do it. Your heart is to do it. There's no question about that. I've seen your heart. Your heart is incredible. And um, you want to do it. I mean, you, you actually want to do it. Um, but um, you, 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 you just don't do it. And it's not because you don't want to. It's because you don't have the money to do it. And you've been going a long way too long. Now, I'll show you how to get the money. And I'll show you how to get it the right way. I know how. You don't ever want to listen to someone that's broke about money. And I say that respectfully. But you don't ever want to listen to someone about money that's broke. And I want to tell you something else. You never listen to someone about money that, that, that's not a giver. If who you're listening to is not a giver of their finances, to the Lord, then you're probably listening to the wrong mentor. And I can tell you right now, and I, I hate to even say this. I don't know. John is telling me that maybe I shouldn't say it, but you know, the truth is just the truth. And that is that you'd be surprised that 67% of preachers aren't givers. 67% of preachers aren't givers. So they wonder why their church is not doing any good. It's because they're not a giver. They wonder why their praise and worship is not doing any good because they don't join in with praise and worship. Is that Dr. Martin? That's him. His name is so small. Good morning, son. Merry Christmas to you. 67% of ministers aren't tithers and aren't givers. That's a large percentage. So preachers call all the time. They say, well, our church is just barely getting by and we can't make it. Well, I know why. Because you're not a giver. Say, well, our praise and worship is really flat. Well, I know why. Because that you're not involved in praise and worship. I love praise and worship. When praise and worship is going on, man, I'm right in there with them. I'm giving them, I'm worshiping, by the way. I'm praising. So if you if you want to do something, you need you need to do it. Now, I, I want to encourage you to get registered for our conference that's going to be coming up. In the last week of April, it'll be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Now, we'll probably stay over to Sunday just for some fellowship. And we may even have a church service if you want to. Uh, I can rent the whole Ritz-Carlton out. That's not a problem. We can just have a church service there. Uh, but we'll talk about that. The main thing is you need to get your name on the list. You need to get registered. Now, they won't be back here until Thursday. They're off today. I'm here at the office by myself working. And they won't be back until Thursday, but you need to call first thing Thursday and you need to get registered for this conference because winners are always dreamers. And I'm going to give you an opportunity at this conference to show you some things that you've never thought about. Most people hadn't even heard about estate planning. They don't know anything about estate planning. They, they don't know anything about insurance. We had one man where that his insurance he thought he had good insurance, life insurance for his wife, and come to find out his insurance was horrible because the premiums were so high. He didn't know it. They were taking out the cash value to pay the premiums, and, and he has hardly nothing left. So I, I want to teach you about foundations. I want to teach you how that you can really move into the winner's circle and, and, and become a champion. That's my desire, and that's what I'm good at. I'm very good at it. I've made 1030 and, I, and I'm pretty good at that's why I keep saying that the sky is the limit. I mean, you know, you always shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. You've heard Dr. Norman Vincent Peale say that for years. So so it's important that you, that you have to dream big and aim high. Somebody type that on the screen for me. Dream big, aim high. Somebody needs to dream big and you need to aim high. And And, and I believe you'll find out that that will be an opportunity for you to move to a du di different dimension with your money. Now, you can say what you want to say this morning, but money is, in my opinion, the second most important thing that can happen in your life other than accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. And by the way, thank you for putting that on the screen. You're so good today. You're doing so good. Dream big, 
aim high. Always remember, you have it within you to to draw on this inner strength, but you need a coach to help you get it out. On those days in Fort Lauderdale, somebody put up somebody put up Elite Millionaire Expo in Fort Lauderdale. It's going to be the last week of April or the first week of May. And um, I know you've got dreams because I've seen your dreams before. I know you've got it inside you to do it. You have potential inside you to be anything that you want to be and do anything that you want to do because God can do anything. But he's got to know that you want to do it and that you're willing to put the time in to get it done. There it is. Elite Millionaire. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Elite Millionaire Expo is going to be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And everyone has the ability to become a millionaire. I just did a book on it called Anyone Can Be a Millionaire. And this is an opportunity, I believe, for you to really do something with your life financially instead of just keep wishing, guessing, hoping. Uh, You know, you'll get pumped up on January the 1st. Well, I want you pumped up now. And the way that you get pumped up is you call and you get registered. You get, and listen, you should never settle for living another person's dream. Don't try to copy somebody. Basically what you need to do is you need to be at this millionaire conference because this is where we're going to change your life. Now, let me tell you how you can register in case you feel like that this is going to be for you. Uh, And by the way, never write the dream in the future tense. The, The dream is right now. The dream is right now not way down the road right now. The dream is the dream is right now. Riding the dream of the future tent places it beyond grasp. If you put it way out there, you feel like it's beyond your grasp. So it's important that we believe in our dreams and we know that what we do. And by the way, you deserve your dream to be fulfilled. You deserve your dream right now, right now. The word that Dr. Martin, right now, right now, right now. Not, not, not later, but right now. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, the man on top of the mountain just didn't fall there. The man on top of the mountain didn't just fall there. I mean, he had to make his way and work his way up there because that's what he wanted to do. I don't want to climb one of the big old mountains, but this guy did. So, you know, and let me just say this to you. You know that your passion is never controlled by your circumstances. Your passion, your, your, your drive is never controlled by your circumstances. Your biggest problem is one thing. If you want to know the truth about it, you want me to help you for just a minute, then we'll go. The biggest thing about you is that you have a lack of expertise, a lack of experience, and of lack of knowledge. At this conference, this expo, the Elite Millionaire Expo in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. By the way, thank you so much for inviting all those wonderful people. But at the Elite Millionaire Expo, We're going to show you the basic practical insights of how that you can have an immediate change in your life financially. Now, some people may not even want to be a millionaire. They may think that it's wrong to be a millionaire. Does anybody think it's wrong to be a millionaire? If you do, just type yes on the screen. But I think most of you are going to say no. Um, so, So it's important that you understand that you have a lack of expertise, you have a lack of experience, you have a lack of knowledge, you may even have a lack of focus to some extent. There we go. There they are right there. No, sir. No, sir. There's, there's a Dr. Lucy Gonzalez. No, sir. Uh, Jenny Lee. No, sir. So, so nobody believes it's wrong to be a millionaire. There's nothing wrong with being a millionaire. There's nothing wrong with being a multi-millionaire. There's nothing wrong with being a billionaire. So, I think the three things that will keep you from it. Now, you need to get registered for this conference as quick as you can because I'm telling you the seats are going fast, and I'm not saying that to use an emotional tactic on you to make you register. I'm saying that because we, we I think we already have 20. It's either 18 or 20 that's already registered. Jenny Lee's registered. Sue Ann Seachek's registered. Roma Hamby. A lot of these people have already registered. Sandy White's registered. She, I mean, a lot of people have registered. So, so. Uh, when these 20 seats are gone, you can't come to me crying and say, well, can you open up one more seat? Because we're only booking the room for 40 people. We're going to have classroom style. We're going to be in there. We're going to be learning and working. We're going to have projections. I mean, this is going to be a real 
Elite Millionaire Expo. And you really don't want to miss it. Uh, I'm telling you, you don't want to miss it. So, And by the way, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that next step, which I think is a big problem. That's a fear that people have of being successful. So I just know that you can dream big, you can aim high, and, uh, and, and we want your future to be big and to be good. Okay, so dreams, I believe, are the future. The, the seeds that we put into the ground, the seeds that we sow, no matter what they are, uh, are going to give us a harvest, and that's going to be our future. Uh, I, I believe dreams are the seeds of change. That's what I believe. Dream. Can somebody put that up? Dreams are the seeds of change. Nothing ever grows without a seed. You say, what do you want us to do? Give an offering? Well, not now. Uh, I want you to get registered for the conference in Fort Lauderdale so that you can be one of the top winner 40s. You'll go into the millionaire uh, circle. Uh, nothing grows without a seed and nothing ever changes without a dream. Nothing ever grows without a seed and nothing ever changes without a dream. Let me make it clear to you this morning. Your dream is important. And not only is your dream important to me, but it's important to millions of people that your dream can make a better life for. So your dream can make someone's life better because it's going to help make your life better. And when your life gets better, then you can help someone else's life get better. And that's what it's all about. It's not just take in, take in. I, by the way, I had one man. It's incredible. Uh, I, I love this guy, but he has a weird sense of thinking. I want to give this to you. Take me about a minute. He called me on the phone the other day and he said, Hey, he said, uh, uh, we talked a few minutes about his church and everything. He says, everything going good. I said, yep, everything is going good. And then he said this, he said, man, I really came out good this Christmas. And I'm trying to think what he's thinking. I never thought of it this way, but I'm saying, what do you mean? He said, well, I sent out X number of dollars, number of dollars back uh, uh, from other people, not just from those people he sent money to. But he was telling me that he was $13, $1,300 ahead of what he sent, what he sent out. I, I don't know about you, but I don't get to keep up with how much I give out like that so I can know how much I'm going to get back. Uh, if you're sowing seeds, then you need to realize that your seed, I need somebody to put this down, that nothing ever grows without a seed and nothing ever changes without a dream. I like that statement. I wish somebody could get that to Twitter. Nothing ever grows without a seed. Can I get somebody to put that up? Nothing ever grows without a seed. And nothing ever changes without a dream. That's the reason why that I've made this statement. And you might remember this, but last year the thing went viral. Your future is determined by your dreams. Your future is determined by your dreams. Can I get somebody to put that up, please? Your future, but make it personal. My future is determined by my dream. My future is determined by my dream. See, I know what's inside of you. You've got trem tremendous seeds of greatness inside of you. The potential that's inside of you is just incredible. I was talking to my friend Steve Harvey about two weeks ago. And uh, you know Steve Harvey. And uh, uh, he was talking about how he used to, where he came from. If you've never heard Steve's story, you need to listen to it. I mean, it's an amazing story. Uh, where he came from. And Jim Carrey, too. He's not, I don't know him, but he, his story is amazing, too. So it's important that you do not give up on something just because getting there could be hard. Yes, you may be a little hard getting to Fort Lauderdale, but don't give up on it because this will be the expo, the elite millionaire expo that will change your life. And I believe that with all of my heart. Now, you have to believe it, too, by the way. You have to believe it. Because if you don't, if it's just me believing it, that yeah, that's it. Do not give up on something just because getting there could be hard. Remember the lady that came from all the way from Louisville to Miami that changed where her husband was running around on her. She was 30 something. I've got to get that story back out. And now she makes all the dog collars that's got these nice rhinestones in it and everything. I mean, she's making money. She's the top giver in the church up there. She gave $700,000 in tithes and offerings. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can do this if she can do it. But see, here's the here's the question. How bad do you want it? 
how bad do you really want this? How, how bad are you going to do this? And listen, you should never hang around anybody that can't afford your dream. Don't ever hang around anybody that can't afford your dream. I can afford your dream. That's why you need to be writing that book. You need to be putting something together. And that's the reason why that we must, we must see the change. We must see the change. We must be the change. You can change this world, but most of all, you can change your financial situation. And, and by the way, let me say this. You know, you know good and well that you were created and you're perfect for the assignment that God has given you. Don't, don't try to get somebody else's assignment. You're perfect for the assignment that God has given to you. You are perfect for the assignment that God has given to you. You can be the ram in the bush for someone. There we are right there, Dr. Martin. Perfect word today, sir. Perfect word. It's my son from Washington State, him and Ramona. I uh, love Ramona and my son, Jason. But you're perfect for your assignment. Now, your location may change, but you're still perfect for your assignment. You know, so, you know, we must never allow, uh, we must never allow what we cannot do. I need to say this again. Let me make sure I say it right. John, help me with this. If I get this a little backwards, I haven't seen this in a long time. Uh, you cannot allow what you cannot do to consume you. There's going to be some things that I can't do. There's going to be some things that you can't do. I'm not an expert at some things. I am an expert on money. I am an expert in showing you how to make money, how to keep money, how to invest money. By the way, we're going to be showing you some of those things in Fort Lauderdale at this conference. This is going to be a time that we can fellowship and have together. You need to get registered. I don't know that I did. I tell them how to register. I don't think I did. It's not on the website yet, but it will be soon. But in the meantime, if you want to be on the list, you need to call and make uh, either pay in full or make your down payment. Uh, you've got three months to pay it, but um, no, four months. You have four months to pay it, or you can pay it in full. Those that pay it in full go on the VIP list. Those that make making payments, and you won't be able to get on the VIP list because yours won't be paid to the end of April. But you can call us at 800-344. There's Roma Hamby. She's right on it. 800-344-0076. That's the office here to my, to my, to my number. Uh, somebody's left off on the last one there, the number, but it's 800-344-0076. That's the phone number you can call. I would say go and register online at iccmworldwide.org, but it's not on there yet. We're trying to get it up, but it's just not there yet. Um, and you know what? No one's ever going to believe that you're extraordinary until you believe it yourself. No one is ever going to believe that you're an extraordinary gifted person until you believe that you're an extraordinary gifted person. And I know that you're an extraordinary gifted person, but do you know it? I just wonder how many of you really believe this without being arrogant or cocky? How many of you really believe that you're an extraordinary gifted person? If you do, would you just say yes? I'd like to just see how many of you really believe that you're an extraordinary gifted person. See that? You see how many of those people? See all those hearts? There we go right there. I mean, look at look at all these. And I am an I am an extraordinary, very gifted person. That's fine. You can put that in there. That's good. So we've got to overcome the notion that we are regular people. You're not regular. Look at all these yeses. Keep them going. I want to see all these yeses. Everyone needs to type a yes. Surely nobody would type a no. Because you are a, an extraordinary gifted person. And I'm going to show you some things that's going to change your life in Fort Lauderdale. We're going to spend time together. And I'm going to be staying right there on property at the Ritz-Carlton. By the way, we're in negotiations with them now. We're hoping to have that finalized this coming week. We're hoping. We're having trouble with their Christmas holidays getting uh, one of the men to call us back. His name is Michael. We're trying to get him to call us back so that we can. He's been busy with Christmas. You know how that works. Uh, so uh, I want you to know that 
I believe in you, and I believe that you can do what you want to do to have what you want to have. So my number is 800-344-0076, and you can call us here on Thursday, the day after Christmas, so that you can get your name on the list. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that there's 20 that's already signed up. There's only going to be 40 classroom seats in this room. So if you, if you, if you come at the end and you're crying and you say, well, I did, you have a chance to pay installments and you have a chance to put your name on the list and you have a chance to pay in full. So it's kind of up to you. If it's me, I'd bring my wife to bring your wife with you. You need to have your wife with you. And uh, I believe you'll find out that this will be what I'll call the power of a dream. How that your dream. Yeah, it's okay for you to quote scripture. There's nothing wrong with saying that I'm fearfully made and wonderfully made in the eyes of God and all that. That's all true. But what I want to know really is are you living the kind of life here where that you can be a blessing to someone? Can can you clothe somebody? Can you feed somebody? Can you buy somebody a home? You know, we've given away 38 automobiles, 38 automobiles. And Mother Price was at our, at our party the other day, and she says that she gave her testimony. Uh, and she talked about how that she couldn't even get out of the house. She was stuck in the house at, at about age 80. And um, so she couldn't make any money. She has no source of income but Social Security. Look, I don't want to see you in that situation. You need to listen to me for just a moment, please. I'm, I'm inviting you to listen to me for just a moment. It's important that you understand two things. You never want to outlive your money. Somebody will get that on the screen in a moment. You never want to outlive your money. You never want to outlive your money because you'll be dead. And the second thing is it's important that you understand that you want to have enough money so that you can be a blessing and not have to scrape and scrimp when you get in your latter years or what we call your golden years. Your golden years. Somebody put your go. You know, there's three phases of life pretty much. There's the learning years, the yearning years, and then the golden years. That's kind of what they how they break it down. I don't teach that. I teach there's four. But if you look in all the economic textbooks, they'll say you've got the learning years, and that's your school for up to about 21, 22. Then you have your yearning years where you're making money, earning years, yearning years, and then you have your golden years. Well, I know a lot of people that's in their golden. In fact, I know one lady right now, 72. She can't do anything. She just has to sit there and just barely uh, get by. And that's not what God wants for you. So I just wanted to join you this morning for just a little bit. You can dream it. If you can dream it, you can have it. If you can dream it, you can have it. And remember, if you can change the way you think, I can change the way that you live. I'm guaranteeing you that. But you got to do something. You got to make an effort to get to Fort Lauderdale at the end of April or the first week in May, so that you can be with me Thursday, Friday, and a half a day Saturday. That, that's all that it takes. It, it takes you to do that so that I can change your life forever. And many of you would like to have a change. How many would like to have a real financial change? I'm not talking about just a little tip or a taste. I'm talking about major financial change. Anybody like to have a major financial change in your life? Let me show you some practical things that can not only save you money, but can make you money. It's easy if you can make $100,000 a month, easy. That's not impossible. Here, here's all the yeses here. They're going up. Yes, amen. Yes, 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 yes. Fort Lauderdale Elite Millionaire Conference is coming. I'm making the opportunity available to you. Now you got to decide if you want to do it. If it's really something that you believe in your future and you believe in yourself, then you'll put the money back and get to this conference, this expo in Fort Lauderdale, the last week of April, the first week of May. I'm going to give you my number again, 800-344-0076. Man, I can't get it out today, John. 800-344-0076. And uh, when we get it up, you can go to iccmworldwide.org. Thank you, Ms. Watson. You are a blessing to me. Thank you very much. Uh, 800-344-0076. Uh, I'll tell you, haters are really a great form of motivation. 
uh, toward your success. You know, I came up with this little thing for haters. See if you remember this. Haters, having anger towards anyone receiving success. Can I get somebody to put up the word haters, haters, and then put a dash and then put up having anger toward anyone receiving success? Haters, having anyone, having anger toward anyone receiving success. Ladies and gentlemen, there'll be some people there that will not want you to be successful in your home, your family. There'll be some people there. There'll be more fights probably on Christmas Day. I had one lady invite me for Christmas to Warren, Ohio. Her and her husband, she wanted me to come be with them on Christmas Day in Warren, Ohio. And I may fly up there. I don't know. Think about it. Think about going to St. John. I'm thinking about going to um, Myrtle Beach. I don't know where I'm going. That's it right there. Well, you're, you are, Latonya, you're fast. And, and, and she said, well, we have over a hundred people in our family that's going to be in that house on Christmas day. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. And you know, there's going to be a few arguments, just a few. A dream awakens something within each of us. The power in it fills us with hope, excitement, and strength. The power inside that dream, it will awaken Pittsburgh. It will awaken you and fill you with hope, excitement, and strength. I pray that today. Hey, I want to take this opportunity to wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, if you have an opportunity to share this broadcast with somebody, it's not very long, but I want you to share this broadcast with somebody. And just realize and remember that I love you with all of my heart. I believe in you. I'm passionate about your dream. I want to be in your dream. I want everything that you do. I don't want to be a part of it. And I want you to know today that we love you and we appreciate all that you do. God bless you. Have a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. Be safe, too, by the way, because you're important to me. And by the way, get registered Thursday morning for our conference in Fort Lauderdale. Don't put it on. I'll see you then. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you.